Hey everyone, um, today I'm showing you um, my settings on my Pocophone, which ROM I use, which uh, kernel, maybe it helps. And if you also root your phone and want to put the same ROM, you can use that too, because I'm still satisfied with the performance. And I'm using right now Android 12. It's with Elite MUI 22. It's the beta version, but it's um, stable for me. And I'm using the the Wild Kernel, Wild Angel Kernel version 54. It's I didn't touch it um, since last year, so I didn't update it because. Um, it runs fine, so never touch a running system, you know. And I'm using the updated OpenGL driver version 615. I didn't flash it uh, directly with um, recovery. I am flashed it uh, with the Magisk module. Maybe you heard about it. So if something happens, you got a boot loop or something, you can uh, just delete it and it's fixed again. So um, you know the stock Poco F3 is uh, throttling the uh, CPU speed very early, so the device won't get warm. Um, you can see here, I use the um, stock clocks. It's not full speed now, but if I'm using extra gear, I set everything to max. Um, I'm using the Franco kernel manager. So you can see here the information again, which GPU driver you use. And which kernel you use, you can see it here again, Wild Angel version 54. And you can set your frequency manually, so to maximum performance. Extra gear won't use the full um, power of it, but you can uh, stop it to, you can max out the performance so it stay at um, 3.1 gigahertz and I'm using the app profiles so I'm just um, changing the um, settings let me show you your, my settings for extra gear I just call it extreme bright so you can see the little cluster I didn't touch but the big cluster I set to maximum 2.4 gigahertz and the prime cluster to 3.1 gigahertz. GPU are maxed out, so I didn't overclock anything. I, I'm still using the stock clock, but um, stopping the throttling. So terminal profile to PUBG. Um, according to Kira, you will get the best boost, but I um, didn't find any difference and you save the profile. So, the profile you can apply to specific apps. Let's see. So, you see, if I'm running extra gear, then my settings will be used and the frequencies will be overwritten with my settings to maximum performance. Yeah? Okay, let me show you if I'm um, you need, of course, root, so if you don't have root, it won't work because um, it will use the system permissions. Cornerbase I didn't use because I get, I'm getting boot loops with other settings, um, with, um, I, I wanted to overclock my GPU to 710 megahertz. It's just a bit, but um, 
it didn't work. I got the boot loop again and I have to restore it again. So I didn't um, update anything. So in summary, I'm using the Elite ROM, custom ROM. It's China apps are removed, are removed, and I'm using the Franco kernel manager to using my um, preferences. So you can see here. It's um, 844 MHz right now, and if I'm using Exegear, boom, you see, it's to uh, 3.1 GHz. So let's check it out. Let's run, for example, Classic ETS. As you can see here right now again, 3.1 gigahertz. And for ETS2 I'm using, oops, I'm using only three cores. You can see also here, this is um, core 7, core 4 to 6, and the little cluster I didn't use anything. FPS meters for screen refresh rate, so it's not the real FPS on the game. You can get, if you're on stock ROM and don't want to root your device, you can get similar performance if you are using in MIUI, um, MIUI 13, the performance mode, you have to activate it, but I don't know how long it lasts with the uh, max clock. I'm using input bridge, the FPS meter should be corrected. It's not really sunny here, but you can see. And boom, you see the correct FPS meter. It's about 30 FPS in city. Mm. Oh, it's the wrong profile. So let me use ETS. And that's it. Oh, it's blocked, okay. So you can see um, with this settings, I'm getting those uh, performance you see always in my videos. Because I heard about two users which also have a Poco F3. They only got 
low FPS on uh, ETS, just 9 FPS. But I also see other users with Snapdragon 865 have similar performance in stock. So maybe you have uh, something wrong settings or other settings, but that's how I used mine. Okay, let's take it out. And I will try to put um, my drivers, I re use drivers and ROMs. Maybe you can use the an updated version of Elitem UI because it's outdated, but I I won't update until anything happens. So I will link in the description what I used. Maybe you can use it too and get similar performance. So check it out and let's try it.